Hey, I okay. love you, but I forget born tomorrow, okay? Nee, okay, I love you. Tomorrow I bring born for you, okay? Say my, you say my cheese, okay? Little cheese, okay? <laughs> yeah, French, French cheese. Good, <laughs> yummy, yummy. I love you. Tomorrow I bring born for you. Bye, Tita. So it's my birthday this week. It's my last week of paternity. I go back to work after the holiday weekend. It's going to spend some time with some friends this weekend, then go up to Big Bear, which is the you know Southern California mountains. My parents live up there and uh, gonna spend some time with them. So excited about all those things. When you're 31, when, you're, when you become an adult, uh, presents are kind of lame, right? I realized this a couple of videos back, I sold my moped. So I told my wife for my birthday I wanted to get an electric skateboard and it arrived in the mail today. I'm super excited to get using it and I've never ever thought of doing an unboxing. I don't usually watch unboxings, but I'm so excited about this product. I think I'm gonna do one and put it in this video. If you guys watch a lot of vloggers, a lot of vloggers are riding around on these things and vlogging. Um, I don't intend to do so, but uh, I'm excited to take this to work and back instead of having to drive every day. Um, and so I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing of the Acton Blink Board. Okay, so I've been riding the board for the last couple days and overall summary is I love it. It's a really fun board. It's um, honestly probably too fast for the size of the board. First detail is that um, this is the remote. It's pretty cheap, but it does the job. It gets stuck on the throttle sometimes, which doesn't isn't a huge issue because you have to brake anyways. Um, overall, testing the beginner, regular, and pro mode, I realized that honestly the biggest risk is braking. Braking will throw you off the board where accelerating is pretty easy to deal with. So in general, my biggest fear is going fast and braking on this thing because it breaks pretty abruptly. The other big takeaway I've had is that this board is actually pretty small. It's the size of a regular skateboard, which is the reason I bought it because it's very light and very compact. The difference is that at higher speeds above like 15 miles an hour, it gets pretty squirrely so you get, um, kind of the, the skate wobbles that you would get going down a hill on a regular skateboard. So I've had to tighten the trucks in order to hit the high speeds, which in turn makes it harder to maneuver and do quick turns. So you kind of have a, uh, so with this board you have to make a decision of whether you want to carve and make quick turns versus go fast and have stability. This is mainly gonna be a commuter board for me, so I've tightened down the trucks and I'm compromising kind of my maneuverability for speed, which is really fun. Lastly, my favorite part about this board are the lights. Um, it's really cool that it has this kind of unique LED down light when the board is running. Um, I haven't done much night riding yet, but I'm excited to do it um, and get some footage of it as well. Um, it's a nice little feature, something that's unique for this board specifically. All in all, I'm really pumped about this board, excited to use it, and for the price point, it's pretty unparalleled compared to the rest of the market. So I know there are a lot of vloggers out there that are using electric skateboards and vlogging while they board. I've been wanting this board for a long time, even way before I started vlogging. Um, so I have no intent in trying to copy or be one of these skateboard bloggers. Um, this is simply something fun for me to get around town um, and get to work in. These things are pretty quick and pretty sketchy, so I have no intent in carrying this expensive camera while I skateboard. <laughs> So this is the first time this has happened. 
Uh, I had mentioned going up to Big Bear with my family for Memorial Day weekend and for my birthday. Long story short, all that footage was lost. I don't know how that happened, but I have nothing to show for it aside from two time-lapse driving videos. It was an amazing time. I love my parents so much. I, I try and retreat to the mountains every so often. Um, had a great time with my mom, my dad, my brother, and then obviously my wife and kids. We had just hung out on the porch, enjoyed the weekend. Um, but none of that exists in video format. But on the tone of birthdays, last week ago, um, we had a small brunch with some friends um, at one of my favorite restaurants, Social in Costa Mesa. So I have footage of that. So that will be in place of our fun trip over this Memorial Day weekend in the mountains. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to subscribe. See you next week.